This video is a step-by-step -step guide how to get started with Python on CC. Many people start exploring the library through its Python interfaces, which are not exactly provided by the official distributor and maintainer of the library, which is OpenCaskit company, but uh, rather driven by the community. So if you want to get started with OpenCaskit through its Python bindings, you can go to our forum at analysisitus.org and find a topic which is uh, Python OCC Get Started Guide. Here our community member Alexander prepared quite an amazing tutorial, which is very explanatory and actually you can just follow this tutorial and you will easily get started. And in this video let me just comment on what you will be doing. The first step would be to go and download Anaconda, which is a sort of a distribution for Python, surrounded with many useful packages, especially if you are doing some data science, but not necessarily. So we are not going to use any data science packages and still we are going to take advantage of this Anaconda to install our Python OCC environment. So once it is downloaded you have to go through the installation process, which is kind of typical and I am installing Anaconda distribution for all the users on my machine. Then I keep using the default installation folder for Anaconda on my machine. And the next pretty important setting is not to allow Anaconda to mess up with your global environment by adding its uh, binaries to the path variable. So I would recommend you to keep using this uh, default setting. It takes a bit of time to install Anaconda and once it is done you can give it a shot by running a command prompt of Anaconda for the startup menu on Windows. And to remind you I am using Windows 10 here for this lesson. With this command prompt we are going to spend the rest of this screencast. And here what I want to do, I want to create an environment where my Python OCC will be deployed. To create the new environment I am just coming back to the forum and copying and pasting this conda create command here, passing there this pyoccnv as an environment name. You will be asked shortly to answer yes or no to some uh, questions which we do not care about that much, so just answer yes or press enter a key and you are done. The next step is to activate the just created environment. For that you go like conda activate then the name of your environment which is pyoccnv. And finally you are going to install this Python OCC core package from the Condaforge channel. For that you go like conda install minus c condaforge for the name of the channel and then the package which you want to install which is a Python OCC core. You will be asked to answer some questions again and if you type yes you will be able to see the list of third parties which are being installed together with this Python OCC package. You could easily recognize some familiar third-party names like OpenCaskit, Qt, VTK, etc. And once it is all installed, you can check that this uh, Python OCC package is operational by giving Python a couple of instructions, like you import OCC and then you print the OCC version. In our case it's uh, 7.5.1. If you see this version string, it means that you are good to go. Now let's perform a somewhat less trivial exercise and for that I'm going just to grab a piece of code from the forum. Here we have a sample script and what it does it creates a simple box shape and also it visualizes this box in a 3D viewer. And yes you can have this 3D visualization just like if you had used this AIS visualization facilities which we've been talking about in one of the previous lessons. So the idea right now is to run this sample code from within this uh, anaconda prompt which we have by typing this Python and file name to execute and you can see that I have like import error and it says that there is no compliant GUI library that can be imported. This is kind of expected and to fix that what we have to do we have to install this PySide 2 package from the Condaforge channel just like we installed Python OCC core package before. Once the package is installed we can repeat our experiment and we can see that there is a somewhat different error right now saying that we have set pixel format failure. The solution to that problem was uh, originally proposed by Thomas Padiot who is a developer of Python OCC package and what you have to do you need to find in your Python OCC environment a file which is OCCViewer.py and there you have to make just a trivial modification which you can see on the screen. Once you have it done you will be able to see the 3D scene with your box shape. It means that Python OCC is now up and running and you can continue experimentation with the library using Python interfaces. Now to sum up what we have discussed I'd like to say that Python OCC is a good choice to scientists and engineers 
in short to all those people who have zero idea about C++ and who want just to get started with OpenCasket library and see what it can do for them. I hope that this video was useful and you now have a good idea how to get started with Python or CC. See you next time.